Display technology. Electronic display technology is prevalent in our everyday lives. By watching this video, you are probably looking at one right now. I will talk about two main types of light modulators, LED displays found on most of today's phones, e-ink in Kindles, and LCD displays in calculators and Game Boys. So how do they work? Let's take a look at the LCD display on the Game Boy. LCD displays work by modulating external light. If we take a deeper look into how it works, it's made up of many layers. A layer of liquid crystal sandwiched between a pair of electrodes and polarizing layers and is sometimes backlit by a light source. Liquid crystal are a phase of matter between liquid and crystal. A commonly used liquid crystal is called a twisted pneumatic, which is arranged in a helical structure. Light passes through the first polarizer, is rotated 90 degrees through the liquid crystal and passes through the second polarizer, which is 90 degrees to the first. When an electric field is applied, the molecules align themselves in the direction of the applied field and incident light is not rotated as it passes through the liquid crystal layer. The light will be perpendicular to the second filter and will therefore be blocked and the pixel will appear dark. By controlling the voltage applied across the liquid crystal, the brightness can be varied. On the other hand, e-ink, which is the paper white technology used in Kindles, uses reflected light, which is why it looks very much like printed paper in the book. Positively charged white pigments and negatively charged black pigments are enclosed in transparent microcapsules sandwiched between transparent conductive electrodes. Depending on the voltage applied and therefore the electric field, black or white particles rise to the top, which sets the amount of reflection of ambient light. The other type of display are LED displays which work by generating light. They use PN junction dyes put in forward bias, so when the P side is at a higher voltage than the N side, the built-in potential barrier is lowered and excess electrons diffuse across the junction, allowing current to flow. This diffusion leads to recombination of electrons and holes and this produces light. The light intensity is therefore dependent on the current. Thank you for watching.